everyone. I've got a success story for you here and it's from Monta. And Monta already has sent in a success story. So I will put that down below and a interview. We'll put that for those of you that want to, after this story, find out a little bit more. So it goes like this. Can't, I can't remember when you did interview me, but time has passed and I have something to share with you and your followers. So if I'm not wrong, we talked on YouTube in March 2018. I told you about how I manifested my ex-celebrity back. Two months after that interview, something happened. I got scared that he might be in a relationship with another woman. I got angry and scared and my biggest fear happened. I saw a picture where he is with another woman and the journalists were gossiping about him and being in a relationship with this woman. I was so angry. I felt so bad that I did the worst thing that I could do. I asked him about it through a text, not in a normal way, but just like accusing him for being with another woman. What happened? He didn't reply. That day I got scared that he's going to leave me because of this question and then I got even more scared to even think about it so I started to blow up his phone with messages. In my first success story, it wasn't anything like that. I was, a giving, I was in a giving position and now this time I acted like a crazy woman. But that's not it. I texted him and called him all day long and he didn't reply. At the end of the day when I sent the last message, of probably 20 messages, I got a reply that everything's okay, I don't have to apologize, and yeah, but I still didn't get the answer I was looking for. Of course, I stalked him and that woman too on social media. I'm ashamed of myself for that, for acting like that, because I was pretty sure that I have it all together, that I know everything about the law of attraction, self love, and about everyone as you pushed out and stuff. I was so wrong. I don't know anything. I just have some experience and I know some of the most important things, but mostly I still have a lot to learn. A lot after blowing his phone off and doing all of these crazy things, I just knew that nothing's the same. Then something weird happened. I started to imagine good situations and when I went to bed at the evening, I imagined him being with me. It felt so real that I can't even explain it. After two months, he sent me a message and we started to talk again. It's been like that for a while now, just talking to each other now and then. But now it's happening more often again. I think if I created a third person with my attitude, thinking and acting, I can get rid of it too by changing my attitude and my thinking. If there's even a third person right now, Right now, I'm having all of those fears and doubts inside me, but I still know that I'm going to get rid of these bad thoughts and fears. It's just a matter of time when we will get back together. How I know, he's texting me again <clears throat> regularly and it's happening more often and it's more special because through these messages, I'm feeling wanted and missed by him. So I just think I have to do more self-love and everything is going to gain confidence and my I am first best feeling. So now today, this evening, I decided to do everything I can to make my dream, being in a loving relationship with him, come true. I did it once and I'm pretty sure I can do it again. Today, I got this weird feeling inside of me, feeling of being tired of always waiting around for him always making the effort, doing everything what he wants. I'm sick of it. I want to practice self-love and I'm sure he will come to me faster than I can imagine. Why? Because he keeps coming back to me. And I think that's because he's the one and we are meant for each other. If we wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be like this. Manifesting this relationship from the age of 12 and still keep coming back into each other's lives. Now I'm going to focus fully on me again, like I did when I first manifested and, was, and it was about to happen because where I was then, I wasn't healthy. It was awful to be so excited and happy for receiving his messages. I got too excited and I forgot all about myself. I made plans based on his wishes and time, but what I needed to do, I needed to focus on me and my wishes and on my plans. 
I don't say that I didn't have to be happy about what he sent, his texts, but I say that you can't lose yourself loving the other person. You have to be so busy loving your own life that he's going to chase you and want to be with you. And now when I get those texts from him, I always use one sentence as a technique for manifesting. I say, so how does it feel now when you're not the one who's chasing, but you're the one who's being chased? That feels pretty damn good. And I'm pretty sure that my dream is about to come true. I'm sure I'm going to marry that man someday. Why? Because I've never fought for anything. Like I'm fighting for him and I've never loved myself more than I love myself now when he's in my life, making me happy and making me a better person. But mostly I'm growing in as a person. I need this self love challenge again, not just because of the dream, but because of me and because I'm going to be stronger as a person. Thank you for your videos on yes. And I'm now listening to them again from the beginning because I guess you never stop learning. Oh, and when you think you know everything, stop and start again because you might be forgetting something. Much love for everyone there trying to manifest their specific person. I feel you all and I'm attracting a celebrity, a specific person, an ex back twice and you can totally do it and I've learned so much this time. Number one, you can't chase that other person and expect him to do the same because only one person can be chased at one time. Two, you have to have your own life. You can't stalk them on social media and chase and check their WhatsApp status all the time. You have to live and do things for yourself. Number three, you have to believe that they're going to chase you or just like you chase them all the time. It's going to happen if you just take a little step back and don't try to please them. Lovely. Monta, you sent that to me in December 2018. So thank you. It's finally going up. So wonderful. Yes, I agree with you. Sometimes we do think that we know stuff and then we get humbled again. And I remember Dan Radio Style said in an interview that I did with him, if I ever start thinking too highly of myself, that something will happen to knock me off that perception so I think it is a, an experience that we often have and it is one that is good to remember that we are only as good as today and Monta this is lovely thank you for sharing that and lots of love and I do hope that you will comment in the thread as to how things are going for you now and that this is what this was beginning of December beginning of Jan beginning of Feb about two and a half months ago you sent this to me so hope you will pop in and share where you're up to my lovely so lots of love and yeah i will put the success stories playlist down below for those of you that haven't seen it and i will continue to read some success stories as people send them in getting a bit tongue-tied <laughs>